not too often that I find looks like a coin I'll dig into that and check what it is I have found some uh, swastika marked uh, Reichsfennigs here so I'll have a look at it that's a big square washer and the reason for that is that the uh, Luftwaffe had uh, communication poles and uh, radio poles up here so you'll find a lot of these these are they are, they're being used uh, to install the different kinds of poles and attachment in the ground. This one is in a machine gun nest here. It's a K98 or MG in the iron, so it's not in that good condition. 85. That could be something interesting. Why don't we try to do this together? When it's at 85, it could be. A larger cartridge or aluminum piece, something here. Let's have a look. What is that? Oh, it's one of the that's quite interesting, actually. Look at that. Oh, it's in really good condition. Look at that. That is one of the uh, German uh, aluminum uh, food containers, actually, quite rare in some areas. In others, you can find hundreds of them, but that's pretty special right there. That's a piece of history just by itself. It used to be sardines, and some of them had flesh inside. Nice. That's pretty deep, so that's the German toothpaste uh, uh, container right there. I saw some German writings on it. I'm not sure whether it's a dual mod or what type it is, but it's there. On this ridge here, this is where a lot of the foxholes were. Used to be one around here and also several over here. And I have found some spectacular items here. Let me see if I can find a picture of one of the most special things I found here. Yeah, that's a piece from a Hinkelgreif, so that's amazing. There's 82. Why don't we try that together and see if we can get anything out from the ground there. Got the pinpoint. Uh, yeah, something in here. Could be a cartridge, I don't know. Is that a cable? No, let's see. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that's very, very nice. That one's nice. Oh, so I'm gonna check the back end and see if we can get a date out of it. Right down there is actually something very, very rare. That is a uh, wooden tipped uh, exercise cartridge. And uh, all depending on which location you are. These items are very, very, very rare. And this one, yeah, it's a wooden tip. I never found one that is in such good condition. That is so good. That feels very good and very right because I know they had a lot of practice going on here because some of the newer troops that were shipped up here, they came and they had to practice at a shooting ground just behind me here. Right here, this is square. And this is square. They were guarding that direction. And that is Fox Hall from the Second World War. Looks like a um, piece from a cast iron oven. Used to be a bunker and a barrack behind me, so my guess is a piece of the uh, bunker oven that was uh, heating the uh, facility. And they used coal to do that. That's not something that I find too often. I think that's one of the American um, juice or um, coffee aluminium um, bags. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm gonna take that and check the dimensions. That's very rare to find here, but they came after the war and took over, you know, so that's why you can find that here. As I said, I found aircraft parts here before. Aluminum, and uh, this one definitely looks like 
Okay, aluminum piece. Well, I couldn't tell what it's for, but it looks like a cast aluminum piece. So it could be from uh, one of the aircraft. Very nice piece here. Look at that. That looks like a special tool. And I found some here earlier and they can actually be brought back with a lot of uh, work. And here are the coal pieces. I was expecting those. These are the genuine pieces that the Germans used to heat up the bunkers. Very nice. Probably a small trash pile in here since you find the coal then you can find all kinds of small pieces like gaming pieces, chess pieces, dam, forks, knives, you know. Seems like we have a small bottle here. At least the bottom. But very often the date is down there. And yes it is. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 1940. Can you see that? It says 1940 on the back there. See if I can zoom you in. Yeah. Four. Zero. That's nice. Right in the correct time frame. I'm not too sure but that could easily have been a uh, ashtray made by either some of the mechanics or maybe the prisoners of war. But that is pretty special. Look at that. It's definitely made. Looks like it's made of the same material as the sink. You know the pipes falling down from the roof and stuff. But that thing there could easily have been a uh, a piece of uh, an ashtray I think it is and then suddenly things becomes very interesting look at that that is 100% for sure the Luftwaffe tableware but there are no markings on this piece that's too bad the marking would be in the middle here but that's a very very nice piece actually from the Luftwaffe from the Second World War at this location Pretty strange, you can't see any barracks or anything. Here's the bottom of a wine bottle, a window frame or glass frame thing. So it's here, it's just in the ground, and uh, that's the only traces you have after the activity of the Germans here. I know there was a, a repair facility for the aircraft just around the corner. <laughs> so this tool here as well could have been used by the uh, the crew around here then suddenly could this be our lucky day look at that a very 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 nice spoon and uh, I'm too afraid to look at it right now the aluminium could easily be the Luftwaffe edition oh, I'm so eager I don't want to scrape it here I'm gonna check that out, but that feels very lightweight, so and the shape looks very much like one of the Luftwaffe items, so ooh, I'm shaking. I'm gonna clean that. And there is that spoon. <laughs> looks a kind of a, a little bit funky. Actually turned out to be very good at this spot here and this spot here. But look at that. I would say they probably used it to pour some battery acid or something. Because it's just around where you have the uh, repair facility and I don't know why it should be like that. But it's like this in this end. So let's go down and have a look at the uh, some of the markings down there. See if I can get you in there with a zoom. There you have the uh, Luftwaffe Eagle. It's right there. And on this side you have the uh, FLUV. And here is the, let me see, I think it says 38, is that right? 38, so where is it? There it is. So 38, um, the FLUV, and the Luftwaffe Eagle. I have to say we were very lucky with that one, and uh, happy that I, that I could uh, share that little moment with you out there getting close to where huge bunker was Luftwaffe Überkommando that could easily be in a handle for an ammo box I think it is very nice 
that's not easy to see but I do believe that is belt pieces from the Allied for the 50 cal and uh, found that earlier this is just small fragments of it but uh, I really think it is quite special to be here I think maybe four years ago or five years ago right here I found these beautiful buckles from the uh, Luftwaffe pilots You can see you got the correct numbers and everything and they were probably in the Messerschmitt or Stukas at the Luftwaffe spot here. Let me show you what time looks like. Once upon a time there were a lot of cables between the bunkers and the barracks. Today the cables are lifted up more than a half a meter by the trees here. This one was probably a power supply cable to one of the uh, huge bunkers here at the Luftwaffe position. So now it's about 80 centimeters up in the air from the level where it should have been. Seems like we might have a cartridge spill here. Maybe a guard fire up on the uh, Allied aircrafts. Got three here. Still more going on down there. Just a matter of uh, getting them up from the ground. There's one more. So we have four. Yeah, seems like there are more as well. So something happened right here. And since I'm not finding master clips, I'm guessing machine guns. Oh, no more. Where did that go? Okay, we have these, so we're gonna check all of these as well. Look like the MG type. Nice, this place is coming alive.